What's up guys, Adrian Jr. here with Sensity Outdoors. And if you guys aren't already, uh, go ahead and go click the subscribe button down below. Uh, I have weekly outdoor videos you guys aren't going to want to miss. So this video, you guys are going to want to watch it till the end because I'm going to be giving away a couple knives here on my YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. So you guys are going to have a couple chances to win. It's a survival knife. It's made by Stat Gear and also these gut hooks right here that are also a bottle opener for your beer or whatever. And those are going to be given away. I have a couple of them so you guys have three different platforms uh, for a chance to win on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. And today is going to be a hunting cook of an elk cart. This is a cow elk cart right here. So really quick, I want to show you guys a little bit of the footage of when I did harvest this cow elk. Uh, I did use a muzzle loader. I thought I had got some pretty cool footage of kind of us stalking in. I was with my little brother. It's pretty cool with my dad also. So go ahead, stay tuned. For knives, everything I'm using in this video is going to be in the link. The links are down in the description below, so if you guys want to check out any of this, go ahead and click the links. Welcome to Tennessee. This is hunting and the great outdoors. First day of our elk hunt today. Stay tuned because I have a really good feeling about this one. It's on my muzzle loader, and we know exactly where they're at. We've been hearing a lot of good things about where they've been at lately. So I'm out here with my brother Juju <laughs> and my dad. We're gonna go make this happen. We can hear the elk bugling out there. We got on a cow and a bull. They're about what do you say, 800 meters? Yeah, 800 right now. 800. We can make this happen on the first morning if we get up there. And everything goes perfect. <laughs> yeah. So what are you using? A 50 caliber CJ Optima V2 muzzle loader, shooting 150 grains and a 295 grain uh, power belt hollow point bullet, the brass ones. You think that can take down an elk? Easy. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that track. Put your hand next to that juice on your foot. That is a big bull elk track. So these, these elk are about 500 yards away on private property. So I wish we had a call or something so we can call in the bull and maybe the the cows would follow because they're bugling like crazy so they would respond to a call right now. Can you bugle? Do it. <laughs> <laughs> Juju, you ready for this action? Mm -hmm. It's about to go down. We think he's gonna come within 100 yards. We use a rangefinder, and we got him. We think we know where he's gonna be at, right? Yeah, well, we're not the bull, but the cow is following him. Well, he's gonna come through, and they're following him. I can't, I can't wait to see how big it is. He's, oh, he's huge. Huh? He is a monster. If we had a bull elk tag, he's easily a shooter, so, easy. So yours are within at 100, and that path where we think he's gonna walk. If everything goes perfect, that's exactly 102 yards. Yeah. So. I, I would take a 150 shot too, though, if he ends up yeah. a little bit further down. But. Yeah. All right, it's just a waiting game now. We've already followed him for about two miles, and um, they haven't seen us. We creeped in, and we're within 300 yards. All right, so that bull's coming. The cows are coming. So we're putting the primer in. The muzzle loader. And we are getting ready. You ready, boy? I was born ready for this moment. We forgot the shooting stick. Sometimes you gotta improvise. That's actually perfect right there. Oh, man. <laughs> so you good? 100 yeah. yards? Oh, you good at 150. Yeah. You should be good. You just take your time and you get a clean shot. Right at 100 yards is a drop off. So you're not going to see him until he's right there. So make sure the weapon's ready and everything. They're coming. They're coming.
Drilled her. Drilled her. That got drilled her. We got the good vinyls out. Got the vortex out. We're watching. And she's hit. She's hit good. Pretty twice. much a heart shot. Right above the heart. Oh, holy cow. She's going down. Oh, yeah, she's dropping now. Yep, yep, she's wobbling. Day one, morning. Wobbling, wobbling. she and fell. And she dropped. Look at that bull, he's looking at us still, man. He's huge. We walked this whole way. Hey, day First one. First elk ever. Hey, that means you make your soccer game, Jew. Yeah. Hey, I'm proud of you, Jew. You're good luck, man. I'm proud of you, too. Wow. Go up, poker. That thing's giant. I've never seen something that big. Yeah, she's done. She's done? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Wow. She is ginormous. The size of a horse. Oh my gosh. And to think the bull elk was even bigger. Hey, the this bull elk was twice her size. This thing is... This thing is 400 pounds. Uh, if you guys haven't seen my full video of my elk hunt, go ahead click the link up above. And I got the heart right here, so we're actually going to cook up this heart. I'm going to be in my house cooking up this heart for you guys, showing how we do it. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, that was my very first cow elk I actually harvested. So now let's go ahead and get to work. Time to cook the heart. First things first, all these little things in here, they tend to catch a lot of blood. So what you do is you just turn on your sink. And you're gonna just run water through there. You're gonna run some water through there and just kind of stick your fingers down there and make sure they're clean of any blood. So I'm gonna fry this elk heart. It's a popular way of cooking heart. And so I don't really have to worry about making steaks or anything. I'm gonna end up dicing this up. So I didn't wanna bore you guys with all the trimming of all that white stuff off of it. So got it all off. That stuff's really chewy when you get it down to cooking. So right now I'm just gonna cut about one inch thick cuts all the way down the heart. Just start cutting it like this. So inside of the heart, as you can see here, there's this white stuff that's like stringy. You wanna get all of that out. And when you cut it like this, it kind of gives you a chance that if you missed anything white, you can kind of go back and take it off. But this stuff, you also want out. That's inside of the heart. I told you we're gonna cut it into little nuggets. So this piece is going to be cut into little nuggets that we're going to fry up. Give them a quick rinse after you're done dicing them up like this. Go ahead and rinse them and they'll be ready to fry. These are the ingredients I'm going to be using. So here's what we're going to do guys. I'm going to make like little crispy nuggets out of this heart right here. Got some flour in a bag, steak seasoning. Ooh. There's a lot of meat right there so you know you don't have to go very light handed. This stuff is almost like a little bit of a floury substance also, so that stuff's pretty good. I'm gonna kind of give them a good little shaking. If I think I need a little bit more of something else, I'll add it. And then now in goes the steak. Kind of dried them off a little bit. I figured it'd take to the powder and everything a little bit better, so. Just gonna pour all this in there really quick. Just give them a good coating so you think they're all pretty well coated, and then that's when you're gonna start frying. So that grease should be pretty hot. I'm gonna be using this thing right here to kind of warm in the grease slowly and also to separate them from the flour. So they're in there and frying. Uh, I'm only gonna cook them not too long, just until they look done. You don't wanna overcook them. Uh, elk, elk and big game you can eat medium rare. So you don't want to do them well done because then they'll dry out a bit. This heart's cooking pretty fast right here. It's only been about three minutes and they're already browning pretty well. So I don't know how much longer I'm gonna go, but I'm pretty sure and comfortable that they're all done cooking. I'm gonna take a couple out about four minutes. We're approaching the four minute mark right now. I'm gonna test one of these thicker pieces right here. See where we're sitting. That's about right. We'll do a little bit longer, but that's about medium to medium rare right there. Just how a lot of people like it. Okay, I'm taking everything out about five minutes. That made it look like it's cooked pretty fast, so they all should be done right now. Uh, we're gonna let that sit for a couple minutes just to kind of cool off a little bit. And while that's cooling off, we're gonna come talk about this giveaway. All right, guys, it's giveaway time. Uh, on my YouTube page right here, I'm gonna be giving away the one knife right here. 
All you have to do is comment, like the video, and also be subscribed, and you'll be good to win, get a chance at winning that. This little gut hook right here, it's pretty cool. Their slogan's pretty cool. It's drink a beer, well, you gut your deer. It's a bottle opener and a gut hook. So I'm not old enough to drink right now, but as you guys can see right here, it's pretty cool. And it's a bottle opener and a gut hook. So you could be drinking a beer while you gut your deer. It's pretty cool. It even comes with a little holster right here for your belt. Just slide it in there and the piece comes through. So that'll be, be given away on my Facebook account. You guys can go ahead and check there for uh, details on how to win this there. And both a knife and one of the gut hooks are going to be given away on my Instagram. Go ahead and check out my Instagram for details. That'll be up when this video's up. It'll be up. So let me just explain to you guys a little bit what it is. This is the survival knife right here. It has a little paracord bracelet like deal holding it on. You can use that if you need it. Um, the knife pulls out pretty good. It's a real sturdy knife made by Stack Gear. As you can see, Stack Gear. This is like a little hammer that you can use to pound anything, whatever. Real sharp blade. It also has a knife sharpener and a fire starter on it. And I already showed you guys this, the gut hook. So that's what you guys will have a chance to win. Go ahead and enter, good luck, and let's get back to the heart. So here's a little taste test. I got my friend uh, Nina and my sister Lena. That's uh, a little bit of a tongue twister when you say it fast, but we're gonna go ahead and taste this. You can use dips, we have ranch right here. You can use steak sauce, anything you want, but we're gonna go ahead and give it a try. Honest opinions. Chewy. <laughs> I think it's actually good. Like it's not. Tastes like steak. Pretty good. Yeah. I think it's pretty good. Scale one to ten, Lena. Ten. Oh. Ten. Okay, she's hired. Scale one to ten. Ten. Ten, really? Yeah. She's hired too. Wow, they like your cooking. Uh, I'll give it about a nine. Uh, would have liked it a little bit more crunchy, so I would have thrown a little bit of egg, but this definitely, if you're going off taste though, it's a, it's a 10. It tastes really good. Juju. Juju. You want some, Juju? Looks like that turn I picked this morning. Oh, man. <laughs> he said it looked like a turn. He assaulted me. That one was deep. Enjoy. <laughs> At least some people like it. Well, there it is right there, as you guys can see. Um, my cooking's halfway decent. A lot of people. I would say actually a, real, a lot of people waste the heart. Uh, stop wasting it. There's plenty of ways to cook it and it turned out great. As you guys can see right here, they usually don't eat anything I cook, but... I have the tongue from an elk and actually a deer tongue also. So I'm going to be cooking those two in the future. But to Stat Gear, I want to thank you guys uh, for sending me the knives and the gut hooks and everything. They're pretty cool. And good luck on you guys' chance to win them. You guys got three platforms to win from. And other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you outdoors. See you outdoors. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah.